praise the name of Jesus. This Pastor Morris, once again on Gospel Talk, um, kindly subscribe, like it, comment, and share with a friend. Share it widely so that we can spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today, I want to speak on something I call no more secrets. No more secrets. And uh, I want to read from the book of uh, 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 Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3, Paul writing from verse 2. It says, If indeed you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which was given to me for you, how that the, by revelation God made known to me the mystery as I have briefly, briefly written already, by which when you read you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. So Paul is saying that there is a knowledge into the mystery of Christ that was given to him. That word mystery means that it was a secret. It was something that was hidden. It was something that was not open to everybody. It was something that was not obvious to everybody. In the Old Testament, Christ was in typologies and shadows. That is what we see from the book of Colossians, that all the things in the Old Testament, rituals and sacrifices were pointing towards Christ. But Jesus Christ is the substance, he's the reality of those typologies and shadows. So God revealed to Paul the reality of Jesus Christ. He revealed to Paul this wonderful mystery that is Jesus. He continues in verse 8. He says, To me, who am less than the least of all the saints, this grace was given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God who created all things through Jesus Christ to the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God might be made known by the church to the principalities and powers in the heavenly places according to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. I will repeat that verse 11. According to the eternal purpose which he accomplished, not the tense, which he has already accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now Paul is saying that I've been given a special mandate and grace to be able to make everybody see. When you read in the Amplified, it says to make it plain, to make it plain to everybody this wonderful mystery of Jesus Christ and to tell them that they have become a partaker of this mystery. They have a share. Yeah, You read in the Living Bible, it says that even the Gentiles have a full share, a complete share. There is nobody who has a greater or a bigger share than another. Everyone that is a child and a son of God and is a believer in Jesus Christ has an equal share in this mystery that is Jesus Christ. And he says, I was given grace to be able to show everybody and to make it plain to them that God is no longer keeping secrets that God has no longer any secret, but the heart of God, what is called the eternal purpose of God, that purpose that he began yeah, to plan from the foundations of the earth concerning the ends of the earth and beyond has all of a sudden been revealed through Jesus Christ. And not only revealed, it has been accomplished. This means that God has in Christ Jesus fulfilled and accomplished for us everything that God wanted to give us, everything he wanted us to walk in, everything he wanted, every state that he wanted to bring us into, he accomplished through Jesus Christ. And therefore, in Christ, we are in that state of grace. In Christ, we are in the state of righteousness. He, we have become the righteousness of God in Christ. In Christ, we are blameless and without fault. 
gospel, the Bible says, Ephesians 1, 5, that before the foundations of the earth, he chose us. He predestined us so that we might be blameless and without fault. And all these things he has accomplished in Jesus Christ. It's called uh, the eternal purpose of God that has been accomplished through Jesus Christ. And Paul is saying, God told me to reveal it and speak it and preach it to the, to, to the Gentiles, that everybody may know that they have a portion, that they have, be, they have received an equal share into these mysteries. In the Old Testament, Christ was hidden. God was hidden. People have to go seeking and looking for God because God was not obviously revealed. In the New Testament, he has made himself known through his son, Jesus Christ. He has made himself fully revealed and manifested through his son, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for joining us. I pray that you may understand and know that God no longer has any secrets. He said concerning the Holy Ghost, he said when he comes, he will lead you into all and full truth. There is no secret. He has revealed himself. When you read the word of God, when you read the epistles that God spoke to Paul concerning the church, you will see the heart of God fully revealed, fully manifested for us not only to receive and embrace, for us to experience and live it. God bless you so much. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for, you know, sharing. Thank you for liking, commenting, and thank you for subscribing. See you next time in Jesus' name.